So, van life. Probably our worst nightmare has happened. Tibor and I are working in Texas and uh, we have a company out here and we're on site and we're staying in our van. Um, so whenever the AC runs for any amount of time, probably typically 10, 15 minutes, it eventually cuts off the power. Um, we still get, um, no, fooey, fooey, fooey. Um, he sees people. And uh, so the problem is we're in Texas. I got sunburn off rip. I remember remembered everything but the sunscreen. So what has happened is uh, it took lots of calls. Uh, we put calls into Wig. Now this, we've, this has been ongoing for the last couple days. So when the AC, the house AC runs for, you know, 10, 15 minutes, off. Good boy. And uh, the AC runs for a short amount of time, 10, 15 minutes. It eventually will shut down and then the microwave won't work. Um, the lights are on, that's how you know. It's the TV won't work. The water pump won't work. Anything plugged in doesn't work. I think the, 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 refrigerator will still work but we spend an ex a lot of time especially Tibor there's sometimes I got to go out on site and Tibor stays back and it has to be nice and cool in here and it's Texas <laughs> it's not cool out here um, so that's a problem um, so this Volta system we are plugged into shore power right now and as you notice, we are in the negative power flow. That should be in the positive because we're hooked up to power right now. And it's not charging the battery up. And after waiting for a couple days, Winnebago wasn't any help at first, but then finally somebody said they will send us a new inverter. And uh, someone from Volta said it might not be that because you should be getting faults. So what we did is we had to uh, Get down here my partner Steve is a saint because this was really hard for me to fit under there but he was able to get under there and fortunately we had a shovel we had to dig out underneath there because the screwdriver was too long to get to the screws so we couldn't like straighten it out to get the screws out so you had to dig a hole under there to be able to get the screws out to take the plate out to then connect that in so this guy from Volta could um, hook up remotely so I got on my laptop which is because we've been having to run uh, the fans and not the AC everything in here is covered in dust because I've been using the fan and that sucked so I have some windows open for airflow uh, but it's just been brutal so finally we uh, <laughs> We get, he gets in, messes with that, and we think it might be fixed. We get new firmware, and it was not. So that sucks. Uh, so anyway, we dig out all this. We uh, take all this, put it over here, take everything that was in there, take everything apart inside there to get to the inverter, and we notice that the fan isn't turning on the inverter. So it's good that Winnebago still sent us one. Fortunately, um, unless we want to install it ourselves or take it somewhere. They said they'd pay for it if we took it somewhere, but um, then I won't have a place to live. So that can't be a thing either. So we're kind of improvising. So I have this system because Tibor spends a lot of time in here. I have this system called a wag. See, it's a waggle. And this just puts it in perspective. Tibor here. Roman off. So we this waggle monitors and texts me updates. I can see an app for how hot it is. It's not very accurate because obviously, you know, I'm in here right now and I'm not dying, but it sucks. It's not uncomfortable. But this still puts it in perspective. This says it is 103.2 degree, degrees in here. 
it's uncomfortable to say the least so we are uh, <laughs> we are problem solving this ongoing uh, pray for us <laughs> uh, yeah what are you doing <sighs> and anyway, uh, we are trying to figure this out on the go I will update and uh, yeah send us good vibes this has been not fun so I will report back in later Tibor <sighs> all right okay bye